back. I'm just showing you. Um, I realized the last take wasn't very clear. It's really dark and without the light on. I just wanted to kind of show you some of the details of what's going on here with my little um, Arduino based gardening, automatic gardening system. Um, so, if you look, I just, with the installed hose, um, using a flashlight here, uh, I have a half inch vinyl uh, tube that I got off Amazon for like five bucks that runs down in to um, down to here and at the bottom down uh, in the bucket there's a little um, pump um, that I got off Amazon for about 15 bucks 13 to 15 dollars I think and then Home Depot I just got these little uh, I don't know if you can see these little these little spigots there um, this is quarter inch um, vinyl tubing that runs off of of the main tubing the half inch there's three of them and uh, they, they're adjustable so they can they can sprinkle a little bit or they can drip depending on what you want to do so you can adjust the um, um, the flow rate on those which is pretty cool um, right there there are my two nails and that I'm using is my moisture sensor um, that's running up to the, the Arduino control box um, they're doing a control box right here I've already kind of showed you but I want uh, the LCD just kind of gives you kind of just some summary um, readings and information just at a glance of what's going on um, if you're just curious um, tells you it lights off right now which is duh um, hasn't been watered today uh, within 24 hours gives you the current time and this is based off of uh, the real-time clock that I just added I got from Adafruit and I just uh, put that together and put it on my breadboard that's pretty cool humidity reading not, a, not so useful um, anyways yeah there's a moisture reading uh, but I kind I wanted to show you the inside of this, uh, inside of the Arduino control box, just the, the box, the, the project box in general, um, here, just to give you a little more idea of what's going on. So, yeah, you can see actually a lot better now um, with the light. Um, but up here in the upper left corner, um, I don't know if you get right uh, over here, this is uh, a four relay module. Um, there's a close up of it. And this is by Sane Smart off of Am Amazon, and it can handle 250 volts. I think 10 amps is um, what the max these relays really can hold. And these things switch really fast. And there's actually little LED indicators um, that show you if um, the relay is on or not. So right now both of them are off. I have two connected. One goes to the the pump, um, and the other goes to the fluorescent light bulb. And uh, I just um, have them spliced into these um, power cables. Um, and um, yeah, there's the Arduino. Um, right now, you can see I'm taking up a ton of digital pins for this stupid LCD display. Um, I just got, um, I guess, an SPI shield. Um, and I'm going to try to get that hooked up. Um, anyway, so down, down over here is the new, the new clock, the number clock that, that keeps the time, um, regardless of the weather. So there's a battery in there. It'll keep it for like five years, um, keep the time. And I think it's like relatively accurate. Like I think you lose or gain two seconds a month, um, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, but it's nice because that actually allows me to, to say at certain times I want to do, I want certain events to occur, like turn on the light, turn off the light, um, water. Um, um, those types of things, um, which is a lot easier than trying to have to do something like, you know, um, before I was just saying like, okay, like run, as if the Arduino has been up for, um, you know, six hours, like then run the, uh, then run the, the, the light and then turn it off after six hours. But the problem with that is once you, if you reset or you lose power to the Arduino, like that whole schedule gets out of sync. Um, and so this will keep it on a nice time, um, a nice time that, that you want. Um, what else? You can see there's my hookups to my sensors down there. Um, over here is the XB Pro um, with the um, backpack from Adafruit and it's plugged in there. Um, and this is what's transmitting over to my, my, my desktop. Um, and so that, that's how I'm able to um, get the readings from um, the sensors here and what's going on with, um, with, with the project over here and then I'm able to um, do something with that. In this case, I'm actually tweeting the data out um, onto a Twitter account, and I'd like to maybe do more with that, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I know some people like you can actually just control. Um, you can do a lot of controlling, like the watering or the lights, um, through your PC, like with a Python. 
um, with Python script or any other kind of um, program you want. Um, that is kind of useful, I guess, because you have a lot more ability to do cooler stuff because you're so limited with um, the space on the Arduino and what you can do with Arduino programming. Um, so the, the the nice thing about giving just sending out commands to the Arduino is that way it just acts as giving out commands, which it's really good for. Um, anyways, that's the box, and um, and I think it's it's it. This box I got at Radio Shack. I think it was seven bucks, and I actually have everything's mounted. They're like these little um, they're kind of like motherboard pins. I don't even know what you call them. I got them at Radio Shack too. They were expensive. They were like three or four bucks for like, I think they were like maybe 75 cents a piece. Um, but it raises the boards up really nicely and keeps everything in there nice. And then I just stuck the breadboard down, trying to give it a little more of a permanent feel. Um, also, just a note of safety. Um, um, for safety reasons, I don't know if you can tell, but all the um, plugs, electronics, and stuff are up above. Um, up above uh, where the, the actual watering goes, where the water goes, and that I did on purpose, um, just in case, you know, an overflow will leak or something like that, you're not going to get electronics mixed in with that, and have potential danger there. Um, yeah, so that's, um, that is my little guide so far. Um, again, uh, what I really want to do, and haven't programmed yet, is just and I'm having issues with this, the sensitivity of these moisture, uh, the moisture readings on the, uh, the with the nails, using the nail method. But um, to be able to control the watering based off of actually the the moisture level in the in the soil, it's not just a timed type system, but doing it um, that way. Um, and then actually the shelf system, the shelving unit I actually bought for this project, believe it or not, and I got this at IKEA. It was twenty nine dollars. Um, it's just a real good, like, just rugged, um, want to do. Um, right there's the moisture probe. Um, and also back here is the, uh, the temperature and humidity probe as well. So yeah, that's, that's the box. It's looking pretty cool. I still want to do a lot more. Um, but I wanted to show you the, uh, the Twitter integration real quick. So, um, just down here, I have an FTDI, um, USB cable thing I got from Adafruit and also an XP, uh, an XP Pro running over here and um, what's cool about this is I've actually I know this is annoying having the um, showing you video of my screen um, but I'll try to show you um, right here I wrote a, a Python script that actually is reading um, it's reading the serial output on the Arduino back over there against the wall and I'm sending um, this message back specifically um, with a couple of the readings. So um, I don't know if you can see, there's like the humidity sensor. There's, um, let's see, there we go, that's better. Humidity sensor, reading, temp sensor, moisture sensor. Um, also, this is now tied into um, Twitter. So my, my Python code also ties, in, ties into Twitter. Um, so if you go to twitter.com slash robogarden um, this is the uh, the twitter page for um, for my little garden over there and um, what it will do is I have it now set for every 30 minutes these were just tests that's why it's so close together um, but it outputs the statistics of what, what's going on so it says you know humidity 38% temperature 78 moisture 1023 which is kind of like an arbitrary reading um, and it gives me the time, just when that when that um, reading was taken, and um, which is pretty cool. So that was just getting it all hooked into Twitter, um, and it's still kind of proof of concept. I want to be able to have it where certain things, like when it waters, it'll let you know that it's watered, when the light turns on, those sorts of things. I want to kind of get it to say, and it can be more interactive, where it'll say kind of cool stuff, like, oh, I need water. Or have it more not just spit out the stats, but actually like say something based off of the stats. It's a little more interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. This is my logo, uh, the Robo Garden. Um, so the idea, I think, is is kind of coming together.